Hi everybody, today's focus, I am retesting bleach to see how well it removes bacteria from my home when I don't use the recommended wait time. A few weeks ago, I released a video in which I tested bleach to see how well it removed bacteria around my house. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. For that test, what I did was I followed Clorox's recommendations, which was to make a spray solution with two cups of water, two teaspoons of bleach, spray the area in which I was trying to remove bacteria, and let it sit for six minutes. I had many viewers comment that they don't wait six minutes when they're using bleach to remove bacteria in their home. They'll just spray and wipe or spray and maybe wait a minute. And I had many people ask me if I would consider testing different wait times. Can I test three minutes, five minutes, one minute, just wiping? So today what I'm going to do is test just spraying and wiping. In order to test how well this works, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab various areas around my home, such as kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. I'm going to place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to use a Clorox bleach spray, two cups of water, two teaspoons of bleach. This time though, I'm going to spray and wipe immediately. I'm going to spray, rinse with water, and then wipe. Swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how well Clorox bleach removes bacteria from my home by not following the recommended six minute sit time, but rather just spraying and wiping. Now for some results. The kitchen sink. 
In the before section, we have a ton of bacteria. There's a lot of bacteria in that kitchen sink. And in the after section, there are very few tiny bacterial colonies there. This is pretty spectacular results. So, spraying with bleach, wiping and rinsing immediately, did a great job at removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we see a ton of bacteria. That's a huge sampling of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a very strong visible decrease in bacteria. You can most certainly still see some bacteria there in the after section. So just spraying with bleach, wiping and rinsing immediately does, I think, a pretty good job actually at removing the bacteria, even though it was supposed to have a six minute wait time. So I did find this result to be rather impressive. The bathroom sink. In the before section, you can see a lot of bacteria, and I like this sample because you can see different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, there are three tiny bacterial colonies. So again, the bleach just spraying, wiping, rinsing right away, not waiting six minutes, did a really good job at removing bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria there in that toilet rim. And in the after section, we can definitely see a visible decrease in bacteria. There's still a lot of bacteria hanging on there in the toilet rim. So I think that the bleach to spraying, wiping quick, doesn't do a great job at removing all the bacteria, but it most certainly does a good job considering we didn't wait the six minutes. Overall, I find these results to be really interesting, considering that Clorox bleach clearly states that you're supposed to spray it and then wait six minutes for all the bacteria to be removed. And we found a lot of bacteria was able to be removed just from spraying, rinsing, and wiping right away, not having that six minute wait time. I think we saw it was the kitchen sink drain and the toilet rim that had the most bacteria in the after section. So those places may be the kinds of places where you really do need to wait the full six minutes in order for bleach to do its job. When we compare these results with the six minute wait time bleach, we definitely can see a difference. And if you haven't watched that video, the full six minute wait time, I'll put a link to that video in the description below so you can have a look. But there is a difference. The six minute wait time, spoiler, uh, removes way more bacteria than what we saw in the spray and wipe, but the spray and wipe did do a decent job at removing bacteria. If I'm gonna use bleach in my home, I will always follow the manufacturing guidelines which stay to wait the six minutes. And I would suggest that you do the same. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I love seeing what my viewers like to see tested. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should go check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.